Okay. I don't know how much better this is than in my room. I'm filming this in the living room. Um, today's video is going to be it's going to be well I'm gonna title this finding my voice so the reason why you know when I was showing the um, let go control um, artwork on my wall that I did um, I had this idea and the reason why I was like lacking motivation for it because I don't think it's, it, it, it's worth a video and I don't know how much I want to say I simply want to say that I was afraid to talk and now I don't care because I'm letting life happen so let's just go for it okay so when I was born 84 I was born I had three brothers and one sister and you know that was my my years ages one to four um I didn't realize that me being quiet and the person I'm talking to not being able to hear me was a problem until I got to school at five years old I all I heard was speak up um, as if I was doing that on purpose. That's how you internalize it. When people, teachers said that to me at five years old, I would say, oh my God. I would say to myself, oh my God, how dare I speak quietly, quietly enough. I can't talk today. Quietly enough so that my teachers couldn't hear me. So them saying that didn't make me stand up tall and speak louder. It made my voice go low lower. And it was kind of this thing, this insecurity of mine, um, that whenever I speak, someone's not going to hear me. So I prepare myself for repeating myself. Or I just prepare myself for people not hearing me. It, so much so that to this day if I speak and nobody and people hear me first time I'm shocked so yeah anyway where does this story go where does it end um what's the next step in it I'm trying to think well mm, it's hard to describe what changed things because um at 32 years old i had I got my first job I mean, I was 33. yes when i got my first job at 32 um the speak up changed to huh that's annoying i feel like screaming inside but outside I'm smiling and that was in 2016 and then I guess I would say 2019 so a few years after that when I decided I need to fill my feels without the input of another so I even before that was kind of in a space of you know when you go to you may not be coming in with this because you're an extrovert or whatever but you go to a space or a place and I am always in my head about the silence really the silence bothered me until it didn't bother me and I would be like oh my god I haven't spoken in two minutes and then another two minutes would pass, blah, blah, blah. And I think it was about me letting that go. Yeah, that was what, before the let feel what I feel without the input of another. I just kind of let that feeling of the silence 
and being okay with the silence. Yeah. Nowadays, I don't worry so much about it. If I'm in a space, there will be, I have accepted the fact that I will always be the quietest person in the room. I'm okay with that. You know? It's like I get, go to gatherings and stuff and I'll come out from it and think to myself, hmm, I either didn't say anything at all or I spoke more than I thought I would, you know? And I don't know where this video is going to end in, but I guess that's all I wanted to say on that. Finding my voice, it was, that was my journey of finding my voice. Yeah. Let's do a little brain dump. By the way, um, <clears throat> I'm also drinking some tea. I know, I know you're going to say in this weather. If you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, true tea lovers will drink tea whenever. You know, tempted to say British people, but, you know, let's not generalise, you know. Because there may be people out there who are like, yeah, I love tea, but... I wouldn't drink tea when it's hot. And I'm not the type of person to anybody, this is that person talking, to say, yeah, come in my house, let's put the kettle on. No, if it's boiling outside, I'll give you some ice cold water. But anyway, what I'm saying is, I love tea. It's all. I've been feeling very um, exhausted. I literally wake up and go to sleep. I know there's a reason for that. And I'm not going to change that reason because this is how my life is right now. I think one of those reasons is I spend all my time in room. And experts will say... Your brain is kind of like sleeping time. So like, to, to do that, to get out of that brain thing, mindset, make your bedroom your bedroom. And but that's unrealistic because there's only so much space in here. You know what I'm saying? And even if there was more space, I'm generally not going to do that. Um, yeah, that's it, really. Um, it's a TV reading. What I have to do right now, my to-do list is... Um... My to-do list is Habit Tracker. And then I've got to complete these. Have to... Add sketch data that they have. Do some German. And a tea leaf reading. So yeah, that's the end of the video. I always think these videos won't be very long. But they always are. I was going to say something. I was going to say, um, I always think, like, the sound and the lighting are always in my head. But it's very, hugely decreased. I worry about that compared to me filming this four years ago. So, yeah, that, that's one thing that has, another thing that has changed from then to this. Well, five years ago, four years ago. Hmm? Yeah.
till tomorrow. Oh, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on social media. And I'll see you when I see you. Which will be tomorrow.